Levy. Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. So, been a crazy 48 hours or so ever since uh, Super GT gave me a shout out in one of his videos, but nevertheless, we're cracking with this series. So, we've got 246 points for this round of the Manufacturer Series. And if you are new to this channel and you are new to this series, uh, my objective in this series is to finish first in the EMEA for Mitsubishi. And so far, it's going really, really well. We are currently first, which is exactly where we want to be, and we are just smashing it so far. So really, really happy with the performance. I did recently get a DR reset, so I managed to recover some of that. So we're up to 49,000 points. So we are in the lower top split lobbies, but we're still there. We're still fighting for big boy points. So if we want to do anything spectacular in this race, we're going to have to get a podium to build up on the points that we've already got. And it is vital that we do that. So, so far, so good. This opening lap, this is my qualifying lap. It's my best lap. I'm going to go through this lap with you. Uh, I just missed my breaking point ever so slightly there. But thankfully, because of the Evo's fantastic brakes, I don't need to worry about it too much. So, got the few first uh, corners over with. We're going through this twisty middle section now. Again, you can see, just eager on the throttle and then power out. And the Evo deals with it. No issues whatsoever. Some might say it's because of the lack of power. But I don't believe it is. I think, that, I think this Evo is one... Well, that's a brilliant car, I think. It really is, and I'm so, so glad uh, that I've picked this manufacturer for this season. Hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, you watching this, you guys watching this will maybe decide in the future to go for it as well because it is very, very underrated. I've done a few videos on it now, and, yeah, it is uh, a great car to drive. So you can see, once again, it's just got so much grip coming out of uh, the corners, a little bit of the rear end stuff out there because I'm basically on the, on the throttle almost straight away. It's ridiculous. Uh, and the breaking point there is just insane. If it was just based on middle sexes, this race track, uh, I think I'd be getting pole on this straight away. It's so good. But going through this last chicane here, you really can cut these corners here. And I believe it's because the because the corners are so short or so small, um, not all four wheels ever really go over the white line because the car is longer than the actual kerb, which is a bit bizarre. But we cross the line to a 143.6, and that puts us in pole um, by nearly, I think it was half a second at some point, but it's just a tenth now. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough. So we managed to finish P3. Uh, the guy in P1 in the BMW, a 1.42. Incredible pace. That is really, really quick stuff. Nobody had a chance. So if we've got any chance of catching this guy in this race, we're going to have to do an absolute monster of performance. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So first things first, brake bias, two to the rear, and then we put the fuel mixture on six just before we start. Just trying to save whatever fuel I can. So in this round, you must use the soft tyres and the medium tyres. Strategy-wise, it's probably looking best to do eight laps on the softs, another eight laps on the softs, and then finish your race four laps on the mediums. It's by far and away uh, the best strategy you can pick. You can probably mix it up and go with the mediums first, but uh, probably want those soft tyres on. And you can see a Frenchman goes for a big dive on the inside if you have a look on the radar. And I had to avoid him there, so we do manage to avoid him. Thankfully, I just wanted to make sure we got through that first corner with no major issues. I was worried about the Evo's top end, you know, kind of compromising us, and it nearly did. It almost did, but thankfully, uh, we managed to get away with it. Straight away, though, um, the tyres aren't feeling too shabby. They're not 100% yet. They're still not warm, but you can tell the braking difference in this car. Just watch this point here. So I brake here. Look how much time I've made up on this Hyundai there. Incredible. Ridiculous. So good. Uh, yeah, so, so happy. If we've got like tight uh, corners like we do at Catalonia, big breaking points, uh, the Evo will come in clutch and it will just destroy anything that's around it. So, opening lap halfway through now, not too bad as I lose the rear end ever so slightly, just too, too much to the curb. Now, I'm really close to this guy in the Hyundai here. So, I'm thinking about a move. Are we going to go for it? Yes, yes, we are. And look at that, managed to get past him. Lovely stuff. He gives us a bit of an angry tap. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, <laughs> he moved in the brake zone and then he hit us on the inside of the kerb. Uh, and, yeah, he decides to punt us. Like, why? I just, I was scratching my head. I was like, why has he done that? What's he so angry about? What? Like, why is he taking me out? Is he just, is he just not a fan of the Evo? Is he just embarrassed that he's got overtaken by one? Like, what's, what's the point? Because he's just completely ruined his race now. Because no... <laughs> He's dropped down two positions. He was in third, so he's dropped down two, or a position from it, sorry. Uh, and now he's got a five-second penalty, so... Right, mate, what would you do it for? Like, what, Where was the benefit? Why are you so angry at me? Uh, annoyingly, 
because of that incident, the Jag has now gone past me. And we also have, which I didn't quite see, a Ferrari as well. So that's followed him. So that's dropped me down to P7 now. So uh, <laughs> at the end of, uh, near the end of P, um, lap one, I should say, kind of speak, I was up to P2 and then annoyingly, because of the incident, we dropped down. You suck! But yeah, my god, I was so glad to see him serve that penalty. To see him drop back that much, I was thrilled. <laughs> I was thrilled. But we're gonna we're gonna look back at that incident at the end of the race. So stick around, uh, and yeah, just don't do stupid little mistakes like I did there. Because if you do, the game's gonna think you are taking the mick, and it's gonna hit you with a half a second penalty. Was it deserved? Kind of. I mean, I did go off, but it, you know, I think the penalty is quite harsh because I've already lost time. Uh, and that has caused the guy in the Mazda to overtake us. Um, but nevertheless, we'll crack on. Um, so now this is the end of lap four. Uh, we're just about to start the end. Uh, start <laughs> again. We're just about to start lap five. Ollie, you can do this, mate. Don't worry about it. There's new people watching. Just relax, okay? I, I promise I'll try not to mess this up anymore. Uh, but we get the slipstream of the guy in front of us. And you can see the Evo's weakness. As soon as we pull alongside, we lose so much time and momentum. But we managed to just get past him. We've got the inside line. And with the Evo superior brakes, that puts us back up into P6. But we've got one hell of a recovery job. So, end of lap five. We put a personal best in. So I'm really trying to stretch my legs now. Trying to show the pace that I feel like we had. You know, we definitely had the pace here for a podium. And I really do think we can still get it. If we, you know, play this smart, play this tactically. Don't rush ahead and just burn all the fuel and, you know... Pit on the <laughs> put the wrong tyres on or overthink or anything like that. Just concentrate, keep my head down, save some fuel and tyres, uh, and maybe, just maybe, the race might come back to me. So, start of lap seven then. I'm on the back of this Ferrari. Now, I had a decision whether I should really just attack him or I should just kind of save fuel. So, I'm in two mindsets here. So, I'm just going to... I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see what happens. So I look for a move on the inside here. And, yeah, I feel like there might have been an overtaking opportunity. But I was a little bit, you know, it would have been a little bit difficult. And I may have caused an incident if he wasn't wary and wasn't checking his mirror. So uh, it was a good thing there that I didn't do the move in the end because it probably wouldn't have ended well. Once again, going through that tight left-hander, um, smashing it, smashing it on the brakes. Absolutely loving it. And, yeah, got so, so close. So far, so good. I know at this point here, I'm not going to be able to overtake him. So once again, I'm changing gear so, so early just to save as much fuel as I possibly can. But I can just tell that Ferrari, the rear tyres, I don't think he's happy with it. Uh, we know that the Ferrari is so, so poor tyre wear on the rear tyres. So he's going to really struggle coming out of corners. And he was just so slow there. He really, you could tell, it was so evident that he was struggling with the tyres. So... Even though it's lap 7 and optimal strategy is to go into pits on lap 8. I wouldn't be surprised, folks. I would not be surprised if you see this guy coming in the pits because I'm all over him. If he doesn't go in the pits now, I'm going to have to have him on the straight because he's going too slow at the moment. And yeah, just as I thought, he was going to go in the pits. He had to. I think he had to. He was losing way too much time. Um, even though he's, you know, sacrificed a lap, he's going to have to. He'll have to go in the mediums a bit longer at the end. But it is what it is. Anyways, skipping ahead to lap 8. I am now in the pits. And again, I had a decision to make. Do I do the medium stint now? Or do I go on the softs? Do I refuel? I decided to go on the softs, medium stint. Just have as least amount, have the least amount of fuel as I possibly can. Uh, go as fast as I possibly can. But as I come out of the pits, I check my fuel. And then I realise I've only got 7.1 laps of fuel left. And I've got to do 8 laps. So I'm a little bit of trouble here. So I've got to somehow catch up with the guys up ahead. And then once more... Um, save fuel, otherwise I'm not going to make it to the end of my stint, so uh, we could be in big trouble here. So I've managed to catch up uh, with the Ferrari um, in front of me. So we go up to P4 here, um, and then I can see a Jag. So Jag's come out the pits, we'll drop down to P5. Now, is the Ferrari going to get ahead of him? He is. So a Jaguar has now been brought into play. Well, whether that will benefit us, I don't know. We'll, ha we'll have to see. It depends if he overtakes Ferrari. If he goes, um, you know, full send and overtakes a Ferrari, I think I've got to follow him through. I've got to follow him through because he could just pull away. If he's faster than Ferrari and I can fuel save behind him, it's definitely the smart thing to do is to follow that Jag uh, and see what happens. But so far in this lap, I'm just kind of eyeing them both up. I want to see what happens again. Fuel saving, just making sure that I try and save as much as I can because I'm going to need it. We don't want to run out of fuel. That would be an absolute disaster in this race. But so far, so good. Nothing really... To report here this is just a really smooth 
lap 10. Just a nice battle between the three of us here. Just kind of, you know, eyeing each other up. I want that Jag. I really do. I want that Jag to overtake uh, that, that pink Ferrari. Awful livery, by the way. No offence, mate, but <laughs> absolutely awful. Uh, and, yeah, so far... Oh, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was eyeing up then. I was thinking about it as a good personal best. That Jag is a little bit um, cautious on the brakes. Uh, and, yeah, just couldn't quite get it done. That would have been very, very ambitious of me. But we're going to go through the last sector now. We know that Evo is super, super strong here. But is the Jag going to be strong? Is it going to be able to catch up with this Ferrari? And the Ferrari has an absolute stinker uh, through here. So Jag loses the rear end. That is ridiculous. He's done very, very well. Uh, to keep that but he's gonna have the slipstream now so i start to panic here a little bit because i'm thinking to myself right if this jag overtakes this ferrari i've got to overtake the ferrari as soon as possible because it could just stretch away and that could be a position gone to the jag and that's that's not what i wanted that is not what i wanted but thankfully um he didn't now he went for a move on the inside i think and it was a little bit sloppy i'm not quite sure really what happened there uh, he hits the ferrari and i wasn't really expecting it so i just touch him ever so slightly i do lose a bit of sr Nothing crazy, and I'm also looking for a move on the inside here because of the grip um, on the inside of that corner in the Evo, but I didn't quite get it done. Again, this is a um, this is one of those things. I oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> I was a little bit uh, again, a little bit too ambitious. It's you can see the the Evo is so good on the brakes. Um, I just look for her at the inside every time because I want to see if anyone panics and goes, oh, I'm getting out of that because I'm never going to hit them. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to I'm always going to be okay. I think. <laughs> Uh, it's just it's just making him, you know, double think. I'm like, oh crap, should I get out of the way? You know, he's he's storming it, he's storming through. I should, you know, make sure I avoid it, make sure I don't get a, a penalty or whatnot, because you can get a penalty for the most ridiculous things on this game at the moment. The penalty system really does need um, some work on it. I always feel like the penalty system from about a year ago uh, was always the best one. It just seemed to work. So, but they keep fiddling along with it, along with it, fiddling around with it, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, they'll get it nailed on the head for GT7. Uh, whether they do or not, I don't know. We can only hope, guys. We can only hope. It's only around the corner, isn't it? So, anyways, enough of that. Let's crack on with this race, shall we? Let's concentrate on that. Let's uh, let's not talk about GT7. As you can see, through the last uh, chicane once more, all we need here is a good launch. And we do get one, but unfortunately, the Jaguar doesn't. So, he's all over the place here. He desperately needs the slipstream of this Ferrari, otherwise he's going to lose a position to us here. Now I'm getting as close as I can, but the Evo's top end is really coming into play here. But are we going to go for a move? We are! Miraculously, we go for a massive dive bomb, last second, just going past the guy. Literally so, so close um, to going into the back of there. But thankfully, we do a fantastic move down the inside. Real nice big dive bomb, and we manage to break away. Surprisingly as well, uh, the Jag kind of falls behind. So he's falling behind now. As you can see, whew, again, I'm thinking of it, but I've, again, I think better of it. Um, you can see I'm adjusting my fuel mixture here because once more, I'm just not sure about the fuel. As you can see, lap 15, we've got a pit on the end of lap 16. So we've got about two laps of fuel. So we've probably got the right amount now, but I just want to make sure we get to the end. So you can see I'm adjusting the fuel mixture as we're going down the straights now. This guy pitted out earlier in the stint. So is he going to do it again? Yes. So he's, on, he's done seven laps on the softs, uh, and then he's done, I think, another seven or eight there. So he's gone into the pits. So again, once more, I get to stretch my legs in the Evo. So we decide to go and pit lap 16, but now I have to make sure I put enough fuel in the Evo to get to the end. Now, I don't want to do any more of this um, fuel-saving rubbish, so I'm going to just go ahead now uh, and just fill it up to make sure that we have enough fuel to get to the end. So there we go. So I just go a little bit, tiny bit over. Uh, and we do manage to come out of the pits. And I think it says, there we go. So we've got 4.1 laps. Uh, and that was at full pelt, my last lap. So fingers crossed, we should be absolutely fine. If we need to do some fuel saving, we will. Skipping ahead to lap 18 now. So we're still in that P4 position. But miraculously here, uh, P5, sorry, P4 comes out. I didn't expect anyone to be pitting this late. And we managed to jump up to P4 now, which is really, really good. So in reality, we've only lost one position. So once more, we skip to the end of that lap. Um, we get to P19. As you can see, someone goes in the pits and they've got no fuel left. So I was like, okay, this is good. Maybe we can just get past them. And honestly, folks, just wait till you see how close this is. So we go down the straight. There is the uh, fuel warning, but we're not too worried about that. We've got, we've got like 1% spare fuel. We'll use it. You can see the guy on the right-hand side now. Are we going to get ahead of him? This is going to be so close. We are. We just about get past him. 
that's us up into P3. Could not believe it. Could not believe it. We finally done it. We get up to P3. What a recovery drive there. We just nailed it on the head. The strategy, um, saving fuel, uh, you know, careful on the tyres. Fantastic. Managed to get P3 after we got absolutely yeeted um, by the guy. Uh, I don't know what what was going through his head there. Uh, but we managed to get P3, which is a really good result to be able to be a nice podium. Get ourselves 225 points. That will certainly help in the manufacturer series. So, yeah, decent result in the end, guys. But I wasn't done there. So I could I went to the end of the race, and I was scrolling through, and I was trying to find him. So the guy finished P20, so clearly something's happened here. So I sent him a message, and I clearly just said, why? I was like, why did you do it? And then an eternity later, he finally comes back to you and says, why are you dive bombing from 0.3 behind and giving me penalty? First off, I don't give people penalties. That's a game. So we're going to go through it here. So this is my move here. So clearly I've made the move stick here. And he decides to move when he's braking, which is, again, a big no-no. So he's made his point. Um, and he gets a penalty from it. And then he hits me off. So he's furious with the game that he's got a penalty. So once more, you're just going to watch me here. I go up the inside, so I've made the move basically there. And then he pulls over to the left. He sees me. He's kind of shocked, backs out of it. And then because I've got the move done on the inside, he hits me, gets a penalty for it, which is thoroughly deserved, and then just yeets me. So I'm, I'm struggling to understand why he's so angry. So I looked at it from his point of view. So once more, here he is. Here he is breaking. There I am on the left side. He's seen me, but he just continues turning in. And I don't know why. Just ignores me. Game gives us one second penalty. He sees red and then just decides once more to absolutely destroy me. No need for it. Absolutely no need for it. Um, but it is what it is. And then I just carried on watching him, see what happened, why he finished last. Uh, and then he just wiped himself out. And unfortunately, that guy in the Merc got collected as well and got a four second penalty. But it is what it is. But here we go, guys. Look at the results there. So thankfully, we're still P1. Fantastic. Over the moon. So, uh, yeah. Brilliant, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I just really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And, uh, yeah, have a lovely weekend. And I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Ta-da.